Hello everyone, Casey Runner for Casey Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of American Dad Apocalypse Soon. So as you can see, we have somebody outside of our house, and they are coming to visit after we just had a recent event. What's it going to be? Obviously you guys have been playing for a couple days with that out there already, so you know what it is, but I am going to cover that today in this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about the giveaway winners from the last uh, giveaway and the next one, and uh, talk about the direction that I'm going to go with my squad. I've uh, been kind of uh, waffling on that one back and forth for a while, but I finally, uh, finally got a direction I'm going to go on that one. So expecting this to be a fairly short one, just want to make sure I get the giveaways out there and um, cover uh, our new visitor. So I've been taking a little bit of downtime with the, the grind of three different events and three different games at the same time over three weeks. It was, it was a lot, so I needed a little bit of time so I've been, just been popping in in and out um, doing some mimosas and um, collecting some things and doing some PvP battles um, but that's about it so I, I've been taking it kind of easy but um, starting to move forward and I am going to cover what that is so first things first let's talk about our giveaway winners I did forget to test it out so hopefully the right thing shows up I have something messed up in my software for for showing the winners but hopefully Hopefully everything pops up as expected. So the uh, the giveaway is the same thing we do every week. It's the American Dad Facebook page. It gives us 5,000 golden turds to give away. So you get 10 winners and I just give you number range. And if you guys remember, I gave you a really small range. So I fully expected a tie to come this week. And believe it or not, there was not a tie. We had uh, one, the person who was 11th place was one point away at uh, 56 being the difference and then down here below there was tons of ties so if we had it if, the, if this number was a little bit different we would have had a, a bunch of tiebreakers so uh anyway so the number range was 1900 to 2100 very small and the winning number was 2075 so our 10 winners were all very close as you would expect and i'm not going to try number one here so yciy Y, Maddox, Spoonie, Spartan224, Maddox, Ice Cream, Ace Club, Shoddy, Thomas Huber, and Holkamar. Congratulations, you guys each get 500 uh, golden turds. I, I might have said it wrong earlier. I do apologize for that. Get all my games confused. Um, and as I've mentioned <laughs> too much, too way too frequently recently, that um, these are not always given out as... Um, um, as quickly as I should so I hopefully these will be given to you guys this week um, sooner rather than later but if not you know let me know in you know on discord comments or you know any other place that you reach me Twitter Facebook any any of the social places let me know um, and I will follow up and find out what's going on so uh, congratulations and thank you for participating and I also did mention in the last video that you know viewership has been way down and hopefully we can get things going so uh, we did have more participation in this giveaway than we had I think in any of them and more views than we've had in the videos in quite a while so part of that could have been that the event was over so people had more time um, but maybe also is you know you guys are helping by spreading the word which I do very much appreciate so um, this still ranks as third fourth with uh, shelter war being the, the fourth game as far as popularity but um, it, it did pick up so I do appreciate that so um, Again, you know, keep keep the feedback coming in and keep uh, forwarding and sharing if you know if you find this valuable, so we can keep um, keep the, keep the giveaways going and keep the American Dad game going as well on my channel. So, okay, so let's go talk about what we have out here up front. You guys know what it is. It's it's a different view I think than we've had in the past, but it's still the same thing we always get. So, uh, we got this little message that popped up here. The Labor Day sale, agents. Labor Day sale is going on now. It's time to advance your Smith Shelter, and uh, it's funny they call it a shelter. It's just a house, and finally accomplish all your long way to goals. Blah blah blah. So stuff to get, you got to pay for it. That's essentially what it is. And as with all of these, you have a chance to spend a bunch of your hard-earned golden turds or hard-purchased golden turds and get stuff. And we will talk about that. Eh, we'll talk about it now. Why not? Uh, the one good thing about American Dad is they do give you percentages because none of the other games give you these percentages. The drop rates for the good stuff is really, really low. And uh, if you're if you're playing this to try to win the good stuff and you're only going to try a couple times, you probably shouldn't try because you're not going to win, even though I'm going to try in a minute. Um, but all the other ones, all the other games that I cover have the same type of thing. It's usually like Donkey Kart, Nussel Castle, whatever. And the drop rates are the same, if not lower. But here, the good thing is they actually give you the percentages. So 5.3% chance of finding it. So you play it 20 times, you're probably going to get it. You play it once, you got a 5% chance. And then there's a bunch of other stuff too, you know, depending on what your what your situation room is here. So if you have 19.2% 19 chance to find the Roger equipment, and those are, it looks like legendary items for each of your workers to be able to get more 
gear, grinding out more gear. And then depending on which situation your room you're in, so maybe six to ten, I'm in a ten. I also have a chance to get extra rewards here. So um twelve percent for legendary items. So you you do this eight times, you're more than likely gonna get one legendary item. And that's it. So that's that's how bad these drop rates are at a cost of twelve hundred golden turds, which is in my mind, way too expensive for any of those things. I don't think anything's really worth it. And if you get this one, obviously this is nice. It's a hot, as hot asphalt mixer. And what it's doing is dumping a bunch of damage on people, energy damage to all enemies and decreasing their attack speed by 20% for five seconds. That is actually quite huge and quite helpful and would be would be very good for sure. So it's 20,000, you look at, if you see this animation up here, each one took 20,000 damage. So, you know, you get five people out there, or five or six you're dealing 120,000 damage so highly useful but a one in 20 chance not very good i'm probably going to do one just because i have all these golden turds i went and you know for some of the games that i cover i actually get get some of the premium currency just for covering the game but in this game i don't get anything so all my golden turds i've gotten are all um earned or bought which uh, pe plenty of people have asked I've, I've i think i've answered that question to everybody that's asked it but i did buy the hundred dollar offer so i got you know uh, a bunch and then i also um you know in just all the events and just the dailies you just grind so i've gotten like another nine thousand. plus i spent a little bit so all the rest of them i've just been earning just by you know playing um and i just don't really spend them because there's nothing really all that useful so i have thirty thousand. i might as well spend them on something so you know i'll take a pull or two on this one just to just to show you guys how bad it is and if i get lucky fantastic um but it won't change your luck so um i highly don't recommend doing it if if you're really trying to get it so all right so let's cover what else do we have in here so you get cheaper these these golden turd purchases are actually cheaper as long as you've already made it um if, it, if it's your first time it's actually not because if you go here so we have 99 dollars, you get twenty one thousand, and if we go down here to the store Ninety nine dollars, you get fourteen thousand five hundred. Um, since I already bought that one, like I just said, but if you hadn't, you get a fourteen five plus fourteen five, so you can get twenty nine thousand. Ooh, look at that! I got twenty nine thousand. That's why I have so many. Okay, I thought I got twenty two thousand. Um, and I spent some to level up my my fighters to one hundred, and then I've earned some. So I, I misspoke a little bit. So um, all of that is from purchasing and playing, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, so anyway, so twenty nine thousand for a hundred dollars. Versus here, if you go to the card, it's 21000 So if, if you're going to spend money and you hadn't spent before, it's better just to get it because you get double the rewards. But if you already spent it, then obviously this is a pretty good deal. 15-day uh, premium, I get every single time because it's the best deal in the game. I always like to keep premium, so I will be buying that before this is over. And just um, as you can see down here, it's, it's going for five more days. It's been going for seven days. I don't know why, why it's here for so long, other than it does give you a chance to... Um, get some materials so you can buy them. So as you can see here, I, I spent 2 million in cash and 900,000 in, um, whatever we're calling our, our green goo here to get golden turd. So, um, I, I have a bunch of those things sitting around. So this is the best thing to spend it on, I think. Um, cause I'm not going to be building up anything anymore. So like you know, my purple goo and my wood, I'm just not going to use it anymore. So, um, I personally feel this is a complete waste of time. Maybe buying the five star fighter, if you're lower, that could be worth it. Um, but getting a five-star clone or a five-star worker, five stars are easy to make. I don't think it's ever worth spending money to get them. Not everybody agrees with me on that one. You've got a bunch of cash sitting around. You get a legendary weapon. And if you're wanting to spend some money, you can get some Mimosa legendary items, which are really good. Um, I'm not going to spend mine on that just for... Because to me, you know, this is why I have so many golden turds because I don't spend them. Because to me, 4000 is way too much to spend on one legendary item. So I especially don't know what it's going to be. Because this just says something. So I personally don't think that's worth it. Uh, when you got pets, now that we have pets actually helping you out, which is kind of nice, we got 2%, 2%, 2, 3, 3, and 4 as far as helping you out. Uh, looks like they did fix a bug because initially they weren't charged, they weren't showing the prices here for these purple ones, for the epics. Um, and they, like I said, they, they help you get more materials now, so it's actually kind of useful having the pets. And then down here you can buy more stuff. So again, you can spend your, your, your hard generated item so food chests are always good so you can grind the um the shopping not the shopping mall the arena the basketball thing in the corner um i was just pointing off camera you guys can't really see um yeah again i, I just don't think spending the golden turds on these are really worth it legendary sticker chests there's nothing good in there that's not really worth it 
Um, so any of these you want to build up, it's okay, but I don't really think much of it is, is worth spending here. So if I get extra resources, like, you know, I, like I said, I'm not, my wood is almost full and what is this called anyway? Uranium is almost full and I'm not going to level up my, my house anymore or my shelter anymore. So none of those are worth, um, or all of those are worth it to me because I'm not using them for anything else. People are stealing them and then I regenerate it. That's pretty much the only thing that happens to them. Um, so let's go ahead and open a couple just because, you know, I'll spend some finally for, for a change. Um, why not? Let's do it. So most of the, you know, even if I, <laughs> here's the other side of it. Even if I win, I'll probably win these, which are not all the, you know, this is going to get me more uranium, which are oh, batteries. I actually do use the batteries. That one would be worth it. The food it would be worth it as well. Okay. All of these I could actually put you to use. I was going to complain that they're not usable to me, but, um, I could find use for those. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I'll show you how bad this is. Maybe I'll jinx myself and hit, hit big. So 1,200 in here, they're telling you you're saving, what, 250, so you're saving 25% apparently. And what are we going to get? Nothing and nothing and nothing. Oh, and nothing. So this is what you get. Um, so I just spent 1,200 golden turrets to get me four things that I will never, ever use. Um, I have better already, unless, you know, when I'm, when I'm comparing, you know, strength versus power here later on, um, they might be usable. So I'll go ahead and do one more just to show you. It's not really going to change more. And same thing as before, a whole lot of nothing. So if, for those of you who have been holding off to, to maybe do it, maybe not, I highly recommend not doing it. I just spent 25 golden, 2,500 golden turds. Let's go see how much money I just spent. You know relative money i spent so if we go to the shop here 2500 if i get the first time purchase that was ten dollars i just you know spent ten dollars on essentially nothing not really because i had this bigger offer but anyway you get my point so i never buy those okay what am i going to do with my squad let's cover that real quick you know I, i'm running my weird squad right now i've been doing it for a while i finally got my three 100s going so I got 100, 100, 100, which I have a tank up front. I have two gunslingers in the back. It's great setup. I'm keeping my power down though. I don't have all the equipment on everybody. And I've been highly successful with this. I win a lot. Um, quite often lately, I've been trying for first, even with people who have 500,000 more power than me and then I lose just barely. So I haven't been finishing top three all the time, but I'm always going for first pretty much every time at this point. So um, just because I haven't been uh, taking it all that serious. So I did get some advice from Brian in the comments that uh, getting up to six by 100, you can still place in the top just because a lot of people in this game don't use good strategy. And I don't know if there's like in, in the setup I'm running in the 94 bracket, there's a, always a person with 508,000 power. There's always a person with 597,000 power. I don't know what those are. I don't know if they're just bots that people are creating and they're just there or what those people are. But every single arena I'm in or Mimosa I do, has two people with those powers so i don't know what that's about so i'm assuming the same thing will be at six by 100 um and then you got people with bad strategies not really knowing how to play and stuff like that so um, from what i hear six by 100 is okay and there's got to be uh, an event coming up soon which is going to give us holograms which i could obviously set things up so i could do it but you know i uh, i think it's time to, to start moving up so this is what i'm running right now it's got me in the 94 bracket i could actually level up a touch more saying 94 bracket especially since I have these two right here, not these two, um, these two. Let's just click on one. I got a 90. Come on. There we go. So we got an 89 and uh, a 90. So I can start leveling those guys up, I suppose. But these are my last two that were, these were the ones that were in the 70s before. So we got an 81 and an 84. So um, I, I believe the plan is I'm going to start moving forward. I don't really want to pay because obviously I could. But it gets really expensive and then you know i have it obviously but um if there's a need i'll rush it but for now i think i'm just going to start leveling them up which is very quickly going to bump me up into the six by 100 bracket even though i'm only going to have a what 100 100 we'll have these two here which will be 90 and then an 86 so i'll still be highly underpowered um but from what i hear i can at least you know have my chances of finishing the top three so i'm going to start that up so be working my way to six by 100 soon and um yeah so that is going to be the the direction so that i can start um, outfitting some of this better gear 
especially here for our engineers. I got some good engineering equipment. Um, you know, we got this some of my s'more staff, which I really want to get going, especially with, uh, with the hologram, which I don't have yet. Um, so this would be one of the first ones I'm going to do. Um, not sure what else yet. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's time. I've been talking about it for a long time, so I'm finally going to make that move. So, okay. Like I said, I was going to keep this one short. That's, that's really all I had. I just wanted to cover the, uh, the Labor Day sale, um, the event or the event Labor Day sale and you know my squad in the giveaway so all right let's go ahead and announce the next giveaway i'm going to make it difficult and everybody again i'm going to keep the range really small again so that way um the tiebreaker will probably come into into play so make sure you get your picks in early because the uh the first person who if there's a tie the first person that gets it in will get the win because we only have 10 winners each week no matter what i can't go more than 10. um so we'll do the same thing as before go to the uh, description there's going to be a link to a google form open that google form give me three different things go up here give me your in-game name and by the way elder gods if you're looking for a uh a clan to get into um we're competitive and highly uh uh we didn't get the top where we go here we didn't get the top chest this time we were just barely off so we were we we're the second to top chest but um the clan works hard and gets to those top couple chests every time so if, you, if you're willing to work hard and you want some uh, a clan that's going to uh, be competitive this is one you might want to consider checking out so anyway back to giveaway um go ahead give me your in-game name here Give me your ID. If you click on the gear, here's your ID here. You got to, just as a, a warning, I need to have this ID and it needs to be accurate. If you give me a, a, a fake one or you transpose the numbers, whatever, um, unfortunately, we can't do anything to fix that. If I've already turned it in, we've had that happen to a couple of different people, so they didn't get their rewards. So make sure you give me this, this um, accurately. And then the number range, you're going to pick a random number between a number range. And the number range this week is going to be similar to last week. We're going to do between 900 and 1,100. So we got a small 200 uh, range you got to pick from between 900 and 1,100. Give me your pick and I'll keep the giveaway open for five days after this video goes live. And we'll announce the winners next week. So good luck and thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. And again, if this is something you find uh, interesting and somebody else that might find useful, make sure you share it because we want to get views up because American Dad is by far or definitely by far third, um, occasionally third, fourth with Shelter War. So we want to get American Dad videos up and get viewership up and um, get the community going. So anyway, um, good luck if you decide to go ahead and jump in this Labor Day sale and, and take your take your chances. But you, what I showed you is pretty much what most people get. So maybe you get lucky, maybe you hit that 5%. So good luck if you're going to do it. So with that said, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See you.